Thank you, Marty. It's good to see everybody here. This year's other award for individual achievement in national political reporting goes to two CNN journalists, senior correspondent Kyung La and senior producer Adam, Anna Maya Rapard. I hope I said that correctly. La Rapard worked the state level democracy beat for CNN for two years, confronting power, asking tough questions, and digging deep. Judges said they never gave up. It's strong storytelling that gives an intimate, first-hand look into how false election claims affect the local community. Here's a clip. The carnival has arrived at the Arizona State Fairgrounds in Phoenix. This one in the parking lot is called the Crazy Times Carnival. Inside the Coliseum is a different sort of spectacle, replaying the big lie in the 2020 election. This is yet another tally of the nearly 2.1 million ballots in Maricopa County. But this so-called audit is unlike any other. These are ballot counters heading into a shift. Have you ever done election counting before? No, but it's, there's nothing to it. It's, it, 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 it's pretty obvious. Uh, no, thanks. Most don't want to talk. Others? We're, we're just trying to do a story about the town. You. Openly partisan, as you see displayed on some cars and in what they say. I'm sorry, what? What news group are you from? Uh, I'm from, from CNN. Oh, okay. No, thank you. People are wondering what to look out for in that audit. OAN, or One American News Network, is the small, far-right-wing outlet that has promoted false claims that Donald Trump won the 2020 election. OAN is also live-streaming the event, and its hosts have helped raise funds for this exercise. We were initially told we could not enter the publicly owned Arizona State Fairgrounds. But when we tried again another time. Hey, I'm Kyung Law with CNN. CNN, OK. You guys will be on the second level. Yep. So we can get in. Yeah. We followed that officer's instructions. There is media parking. But then hey. these guys showed up. I'm not authorized to speak to the press or the media. Even though these uniformed men look like police, they're not. They're a volunteer group called the Arizona Rangers. So you're trespassing. This man talking to me is wearing a badge from Cyber Ninjas. That's the Florida-based company being paid $150,000 by the GOP-controlled state Senate to conduct this election review. Accepting the award, Kyung La and Anna Maha Rapar. this down. Thank you so much. Um, it's an honor to receive the Walter Cronkite Award. We want to thank USC, the USC Annenberg School of Journalism and the Norman Lear Center for recognizing our work. Um, over two years of reporting at the state level and crisscrossing the country, we did not expect to be here. Um, it's, it's a little weird to be accepting this democracy award when neither Kyung nor I were born in the United States. I'm a native of Dusseldorf, Germany. Where I was born one year before the wall that divided East and West Germany came crumbling down. Kyung is a native of Seoul, South Korea, where she never knew her father's side of the family because they were trapped in North Korea, an entire section of her family, her family's history unwritten. Democracy is not theoretical. It shapes our world, our history, and our families. And often, the ones who we rely on to defend it are just ordinary people, the most ordinary among us. In our reporting, they took the form of a pistol-packing grandmother and a city clerk in Detroit to the motel manager who rented us a room to use so we could watch Doug Mastriano's so-called secret rally next to a Radisson pool. Ordinary Americans fighting lies and disinformation from the likes of cyber ninjas to Cowboy Andy, who you saw in that clip, and armed vigilantes at ballot boxes. More often than not, our stories always returned us to a hot pavement in Arizona in 110 degree weather, 
<laughs> not made for me. Um, what started as a partisan ballad review next to the Crazy Times Carnival eventually led us to a shed in a cooled room that was, uh, that was cooled by swamp coolers next to the public bathrooms. Um, it is the bravery of ordinary Americans standing up to the lies, threats, and even abuse in their own communities that form the very spine of our stories. Our work is not done, and thanks to our CNN family, that work continues. I got one. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to sleep with that. Um, <laughs> we do want to thank um, CNN, our beloved network, for allowing us the space to report in this beat, especially our fearless leader, Virginia Mosley, who carved out the time for us. We can't believe with all this news that you managed to make it here. It's very special for us. Thank you. To political director David Chalian and deputy political director Terrence Burley, who taught me how to navigate reporting in US politics when I was so much more familiar with the politics of Asia. Uh, to Sam Feist for your leadership, to our fearless Arizona embed, Kate Sullivan, to MJ Lee, my Korean sister. Thank you, I appreciate you so much. So I knew Anna Mai and I would be a great reporting pair, not just because we see the world from our vantage point as outsiders, but because Anna Mai's parents are German and Dutch, both are therapists, which make them, makes her an extraordinary producer on the road. <laughs> My parents owned a liquor store in Chicago. I leave it to you what kind of asset that is on the road. In one corner, they sold 40 ounces and cases of beer. In the center of the store was the newsstand, where there was the Chicago Tribune, the Sun-Times, the Daily Herald that my father absorbed trying to understand this country that he had just plopped us down into. And next to the newsstand was Playboy, Penthouse, Cherry Magazine, which all led my mom to exclaim, what a country. <laughs> and it is that curiosity, not that corner of that room, that um, really makes us want to attack political stories and makes us want to bring out those voices, the politically powerless. They are the ordinary people. They are the readers. They are our viewers. It is an extraordinary gift for all of us to be here, to be working in news, to be among you. We are two immigrant kids reporting on the politics of an adopted country in our second language, where those words are protected by the US Constitution. We are so proud to be with you today. We are incredibly honored to accept this award. <laughs> but most of all, we're so proud to be American journalists. 